Hello and welcome. If it's your first time, I'm Simon. I'm in my shop and I've had a bit of a problem. Uh, I've got a bad back. It's better than it was, but um, I had an operation. Anyway, so the problem is, is I have these big tanks of diesel, which I have to haul up onto my tractor. And it's always been the case. And when my back was really bad, I had to decant this diesel into small containers and climb up on the tractor. I was watching Matt from Diesel Creek the other day and he had this little pump that he just put a battery driver on and it just pumped. I've been in the woods for a while. May not remember everything I should, may not see everything I should. Anyway, so I started having a look around and there's lots of these little pumps that you can buy from you know where. And then I found a, a small pump that was really cheap but came from Germany. Hmm. Now, I know about Mercedes and BMW not being what they used to, but it still comes from Germany and not from anywhere else. So, I ordered one. Here it is. Wolfcraft. Made in Germany. Let's open it up. Let's see what this is all about. There we go. I think that's what we need. Wow. Well, that's just in every conceivable language. Let's see what it actually says. Is there a language up here I can read? Several of them. Okay, so <laughs> what it says is, don't put the drill, or whatever it is you're using, in the water. Just, okay. So I'm assuming then from that, I was hoping this would have been shaped, but it isn't. And it pumps all the way through. What's the area direction of pumping? Oh, I've got dirty already. Okay, what do we need for that then? Some fittings that go on there. For all that, we need to go to the fitting department, plumbing department. Uh, no, 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 must be this side. Fittings and plumbing department, okay. Yeah, something like that. Too big. Too big. That might be the next section. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, the trouble is, if we use those, we've got to use other plastic connectors and I'm pumping diesel. about exactly what we need. One of those, has that got a rubber in it? Yeah. Look at that. That's what we need. They will look like they should be standard fittings. Will that go on there? Yes. Will that go on there? Okay. Now, here in the Arctic, I blow up hoses regularly, and so does everybody else. So what I do have is a load of garden hose that's got holes in it, and bits as. So, area of direction, travel, that way. I need a short hose that goes from that down into a tank, and a longer hose that goes from that up into the tractor's tank. Screw that to a bit of wood. And maybe I haven't got to lift those huge drums of diesel up onto the tractor. Right, let's go see what we can find for that then. And we've got some bolts there to attach it. Okay. Right, what the instructions say is the pickup hose has to be a minimum of a metre. Right, so we've got a bit of a, a metre long hose there. And then I'll go to my reclaim department. Yeah. 
that'll do for one. This is what I'm going to use for my pickup. Nice bit of brass there. And that's what I'm going to use for my flow. But what we don't know is if that's my meter of hose there for my pickup tube, we don't know how far we need to get to the tractor. Hmm. That's what we don't know. All right. So for those of you that think I'm always wearing the same coat and hat, well, no. I have lots of coats to choose from. Definitely not the same hat. We have lots of those to choose from as well. But what we do have to do is go and find out how much hose we need to get to the tractor. And the reason we're going to do that and then come back in and cut the hose to length is because it's so cold outside. As soon as I go out, this hose, hose, oh no, we know a joke about that. Anyway, this hose is going to go frigid. Is that the right word? Frigid. It's going to go solid. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? Frigid, solid. Anyway, so he thinks we're going out to play. Right. Long, we just need to know how long a hose we need. Look at that. Supposed to be minus 22 tonight. And, uh, oh, it is starting to. Another big dump of snow coming. Supposed to be all week. So, uh, anyway, and it looks lovely out here. It ain't. It's dark. And you'll see that in a minute when we go in the tractor shed. There's this cloud sticking out. Look. I think before we go in, we should turn the light on. I think the light's on now. So we've got the cloud on. You know that? It's the land of a billion diamonds. Right, so these. These are the cans of diesel which I have to climb up. Oh, hang on, my hand got stuck to the blaze. Christ. Oh, there's a bit of skin off. Right, so the idea is then, probably to mount the pump on here. Probably. And then we've got to get up, up here. So what we want to know, how am I going to do this one-handed? I'm always doing everything one-handed these days. Where's the end then? We started with two ends. What we need to know is how far up we need to go. That's, that goes to there, that goes to there. This goes over there. Right, so we want it something like that. There, hold that bit, Simon, don't let go. Take that off of there, pick all this back up without causing an accident. I can't imagine what this looks like. Right, tractor shed. Yes, I have got her plugged in. And there's a reason for that. She's going to have to start probably early in the morning after a night of minus 22 or whatever it's going to be tonight. She wants plugging in. Right. And then we have to, you can see how my plough just, just fits in here. How amazing is that? Anyway. You know, if we get, if we get all the way back there, and I've let go of this bit of hose, It'd be no good. There he is, look, just waiting. Just waiting. You don't feel the need to come in there, do you, son? Eh? Right. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Go.
Okay, 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 okay. No snow on this bit. So I've got both vehicles parked in here because I know what's coming. And um, do I let go of that? No, we're going to have to shut the curtain so we don't fill up with snow. Come on then. Let's go. I wouldn't bother normally doing a walkthrough, but I know a lot of you guys are interested what I'm up to all the time. There's a, you saw me get that out the other day, that's a project waiting. And then we're almost ready to machine that lot. Anyway. Oh, while I'm on the subject, do I want to flip backwards and forwards? Oh God, I'm still holding on to this hose. Right, so, uh, We've established my underfloor heating's not working so well. So that's the heat exchanger that's always been here. So the water comes up from the furnace, gets exchanged through that, goes down through the manifold you can see over there, and into the floor. And it's never been very good. And it was never very good because the previous owner had an additional uh, air fed pump heater blow anyway got an idea so this tank here this is a circuit tank right it has two complete water circuits in there it's a much bigger heat exchanger than that one over there and I think it would work better for the underfloor heating and then my idea of reclaiming hot water from around the flue I could use that small one over there for. That's my idea. All right, come on. Let's go. No, we're not, not really in a rush, are we? Right. So. Let's put you guys over here. I ain't let go of this yet. Let's do this while I'm still holding it. I'll try and sit you down there while I'm doing all this. The most unprofessional TV show in the world. Okay. Cuz, which bit was I holding on to? That bit, I reckon. Right. Do I want to give it a bit more? Too much, not enough, right? So, we're gonna cut this. If I'd waited a few more minutes, I could have just snapped it. Right, so that's our pickup hose, that's our outlet hose. This goes into the diesel tank, that goes into the inlet tank. Right, that's the two pieces we want. Now, what we've got to do is find some hot water and soften the ends so that it's not so much so that it'll go over this one because that's quite small bore it's so that it'll go over the other one the instructions oh right well you don't even want to know men right working instructions so it keeps saying power drill then i'll notice on the front here right it says minimum 600 watt i hope we ain't got to use a power drill because i was kind of open we could use the battery driver Anyway, I have got a power drill up here I could use if I need to. Not a very good one. Certainly not one I bought. That's 600 watt. If we had to use it, we could use that one. I'm kind of hoping I can use a battery driver. Yeah, uh, what was I doing? Uh, hot water. some reason, and I don't know what that reason could possibly be, but that water has got bubbles in it. I don't know why that is. And where's the other one of those? In fact, where's the pump? Oh, right. We just put those in that bit of warm water for a minute. 
we get out something that looks like it might work. Put that to one side. We don't want to put the wrong thing on the wrong hose, although it don't really matter. Right, that's going to be the most difficult. We'll leave that in the water the longest. Put that on there. Put that on there. And then do that up. That's going to be our incoming diesel. Now, diesel to the tractor. Yeah, you know that. Should I have um, cut that off flush in a bit better, probably? It's a bit like any hole you want to enlarge, you need to abuse it a bit first. That's a nice tight fit. Weren't they a group? Something about a jungle. There you go. And did it have anything to do with the leotards they wore? Leotards. Oh. I wonder what Tracy Ullman's doing. Right. That's that, that's that. That's a short bit, that's a long bit. Long bit goes onto there, short bit goes onto there. Are we gonna use these lovely nuts and bolts they've sent? Nope, well, we're gonna get a couple of screws, screw that to the bench, fix the pipes to the pump. We're gonna take Uno battery driver. Do I think I need to take that power dry drill as well yeah we don't want to keep going out there do we all right so uh, in amongst all the instructions do this don't do that don't put your hair in it don't put your arms in it don't put your clothing in it bolt this down here do this do that do the other well I've decided it's just so impractical I can't use it so I've decided to ignore the instructions obviously the safety precautions and um, just attach the hoses to the pump, attach the pump to the battery driver, short end, long end, drag the hole outside before it freezes solid, chuck one end in a barrel, hold on to the old lot because it's obviously going to twist my arms off and catch my air, and uh, see if it pumps, because we don't even know if it pumps yet. Do I want to put water through it? No, not really. Let's go and pump some diesel. It's got to work, right? How does he know we're going before we go? Oh, I've decided to combat the skin off the fingers on the plow. New gloves, right. Let's go and do this. Just pick that lot up here, like this. Up this over there, like that. What could possibly go wrong? Huh? He's off, look. All right, how's my steady cam doing? Probably badly.
and it eh? probably badly yeah still not snowing that's it you tell him he doesn't even know what he's barking at Barking mad. Oh, that's nice. Do that up my shed. What's the matter with him? Right, in we go. Get on the green door. Oh, I know a song about that. Oh, I wonder what Shaking Stevens is doing today. Hey! Hey! No. Don't get yourself stuck on that plough. Oh. Put some extra lights on. Oh, that means headlight. We've got a headlight, chest light, we've got all kinds of lights. None of this is probably making a lot of sense, if I'm honest. Anyway, that's where we've got to get to, in there. Without upsetting the apple cart. Right, take off the diesel bit. Chuck that in, down in there. Oh. <clears throat> then what we do, apparently, is we get this, put that down there, like this. Take the lid off. Chuck that end in there. Like this. Pick this up without killing you. Let me see if anything's happening yet. Load. You can't see it. But quite clearly, that's pumping. Yeah, I'm not convinced. I can't hear it going down in the tank. No, I'm definitely not convinced by that. Right. Oh, there's a light bulb. We might have to temporarily abandon that. We've had to swap that for that. 600 watts, electric motor. Does it work now?
a bit of a diesel leak there that I didn't realise was leaking out of that attachment when I went and got the other drill. Damn. But, there you go. Right, wow. How awesome is that? Uh, too many lights going on it. Why am I doing stuff in the dark? Well, because it's dark. It's only lunchtime. Right, well, that was a resounding success. So I do need, that's really not enough. It will do it, but it will do it slowly and you want a fully charged battery. <laughs> oh, more lights. You have to have lights everywhere. Just so you can see what you're doing. Right. Why isn't there a light in the tractor shed? Well, that's a silly question. Now I see if I hold all this up, right, anything that's left in the pump will drain back into the tank. Or should I pump it all the way through just to make sure Wow, incredible. Okay, I can set this up properly now. Screw this to the bench. It's not mobile if I set it up properly, but if I screw it to the bench, since I'm sure I will have another use for it. Um, wow, well, I'm very happy with that. I can't tell you how much that's gonna help because, oh, it's not even easy to see. Let's put the lid on that before I have an accident with that lot. What I normally have to do is get the tank and then lift it up onto this wheel wheel. And then I have to climb up the side there and lift one of those tanks from that wheel up onto there and then I have to lift up the old tank and put it in the gas. And what I've got now is I've got that. Now, I have, without question, got to sort this out and screw it onto the bench there and then we're all good. So, right, I am going to consider that a success for convenience while I think it would be useful mobile, and it will be useful mobile, but it'd be most use in that shed because I've no longer got to lift those huge diesel cans. And when I fill them up, I put them in the back of the van, I fill them in the van direct from the pump. So anyway, so what is it? Well, that particular one, it's a wolf graft. 3,000 litres per hour. Made in the EU, it's a German company. Might not be made in Germany. Anyway, any of those little pumps, and like I saw, say, I saw Matt from Diesel Creek using his, and I'm just like, why didn't I think about that before? Many eyes and all that. I didn't think about it. Uh, well, that's that's pretty much it, really. Yeah, I've got nothing else to add. I'm waiting on my pump for me plumbing. Um, I've been doing a bit of uh, stripping down of the motor of that tank there. I've got to try and get the inside out. But other than that, well, I've been on the airport breaking those crates down um and i've just got the big chassis left over today oh no that's not true today i didn't film it today i went down that tree that that big birch i cut down um by the hot tub i've been and picked that up but i didn't film it because the snow was coming and i'm literally in there with the tractor and got it all out it is in the yard and we will have a look at the the base or the first six meters of it um probably tomorrow but you can, you can see now behind me that the light's gone. What time is it now? When did we start? About two hours ago. There you go. And that really, well, it didn't get light today because I was right, was I? When I said the last sun of the day? No, it was Saturday. There, there's no sun today. I can't expect that to come above the horizon again now. So, um, yeah, where have you been? Hmm? Who knows? That's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.